Well, the countries that call themselves democracies are in fact the major terrorists. Sim, acabar com a democracia e a democracia deve ser protegida por todos nós. I think it's very important that we understand put terrorism in its box. It is a very, very frightening thing. I think terrorism is the biggest threat. O terrorismo em si mesmo implica fanatismo, implica Arab fundamentalism, where religion has taken the form of nationalism. You just imagine a suitcase bomb in the middle of Manhattan or in the middle of Paris or in the middle of London. It, it would have a terrifying, horrifying effect. É verdade que pode, mas a democracia tem que ter um olhar diferente. And that's why it's so important that democracies offer a robust challenge to terrorism. Otherwise, democracy is over. Se as democracias, algumas democracias continuarem a, a cooperar com países terroristas devido a, a todas as a componente económica, penso que sim. The threat to democracy, such as it is, is not terrorism, it's the fear of terrorism. Terrorism is 5% bang, 95% echo. The answer to terrorism itself may endanger the democratic process. I think actually it's uh, already doing this, if you certainly look at the United States. You've got terrorists who are democratically elected, so how does that work? Terrorism can drive people to think or to vote for the strong man who would promise um, peace and quiet in the streets. And maybe that leader yeah, talks about doing things in a harsh way and we start mistrusting each other. Secret torture. Governments using terrorism to demand more and more power. Uh, we're seeing cameras at four-way stops in small towns. To diminish democratic structures, to lock up who they like. We're certainly paying a price in all aspects of our lives. It is changing our lifestyle. And at the same time, of course, this is exactly what the terrorists want, is just to undermine the whole process of the democratic society. So if we leave behind the fundamental human rights, if we control the citizens in a way that leads your thoughts to the uh, dictatorships, then the democracy can destroy itself. This is happening, but I'm hopeful not least because um, the terribly incompetent regime presently in Washington has only a year to run. No, I don't think terrorism can dis destroy democracy. Just look at Northern Ireland. It went on for, what, 30 years? No way. I think no, because democracy is a great force of moral já derrotou uh, dois terrorismos, o comunismo e uh, o nazifascismo. I don't believe, I believe that terrorism has been very much exaggerated. Dizer que aqueles caras são terroristas simplesmente porque os norte-americanos ou aqueles europeus lá branquelos acham que são? Terrorists are obviously only um, labels that we put on people who are our enemies are the people that don't, you know, see our cause and... Sometimes these opponents are just opponents, opposition movements within a system. Eu não compro essa ideia. Eu acho até que o terrorismo pode ser até um... Um novo começo para se ter realmente democracia. If you take Nelson Mandela, for example, he was a terrorist. He was uh, in prison for 27 years being a terrorist. And he was the man who brought democracy to South Africa. E que talvez o terrorismo não acabe com a democracia, mas talvez ajude a reescrever a democracia. I think Europeans, or the Muslims, or the Eastern world, 
should not be violent to Western world because the Western world is different. Likewise, the Western world should not impose what some of the presidents call democratic way of life uh, to the Eastern world. So terrorism essentially is misunderstanding, the misunderstanding of two cultures together. If anything, I think terrorism probably strengthens people's belief in their democracy. The ideas and principles of democracy are, are too strong. Não, o terrorismo é uma das parcelas que incomoda a democracia, mas a democracia nunca será destruída, porque a democracia está dentro de cada um.